Hello everyone. Now in this video you will see how to draw the projections of a line when it is inclined to both the planes and determine its true length and true inclinations with reference planes. This is totally opposite and case of a previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial plane inclined to both the planes based on the given true length and as well as the horizontal plane angle as well as the vertical plane angle we drawn the projections of a line when it is inclined to both the planes but in this question now we are going to determine the true length and true inclinations of the line based on the final projections so now we will see <coughs> how to draw this one so now you can see here a straight line AB as its end A 20 mm above horizontal plane and 30 mm in front of vertical plane. The same question here. The end A is 20 mm above horizontal plane and 30 mm in front of vertical plane. And the end B is 80 mm above horizontal plane and 70 mm in front of vertical plane. Same. End B is 80 mm above horizontal plane and 70 mm in front of vertical plane. And if the end projectors are 60 mm apart so the thing is that the end projectors is nothing but the distance between the final front view and top view see this is the final front view and final top view so projectors the distance between the projectors is 60 mm so based on this data we have to construct the true length and true inclinations in the sense determine its true length and true inclination now we'll see step by step first we'll draw end A 20 mm above horizontal plane 20 mm thirty mm yes text so this is the point A I am naming it as A dash and then A So, A dash and then A. Before going to draw the end B, now we will draw the end projectors is 60 mm apart. Take the line 60 mm. The point B, end B is 80 mm above horizontal plane. See, already 20 is there. So, now remaining 60 I am going to draw. 60 yeah so this is the end B if you measure we can extend this one yeah see this is end B with the reference plane 80 mm And here we need to draw 70 mm from the here 70 mm. Yes. So I am naming it as B dash and then B. These are the final front view and final top view. I am extending it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, this is the locus of A dash and this line is the locus of A. Okay.
yeah now the final views a dash b dash and a b is ready so from these two we need to find out the true length and true inclinations with the reference planes see from a dash b dash as radius and with a dash as center now i am going to rotate this locus b dash locus of b dash to till this plane so to do this one in the previous video tutorial i used the circle command to draw the arc in the previous tutorial but in this tutorial i am going to use another method using arc take the center start end so with this center a dash and then a dash b dash as radius so start point is this one and then end point is here so press control for the opposite direction see yes yes now with this radius i turn till here now i am going to project this till here this inclination keeping as constant i am rotating till this inclination so this point is the i am taking it as b1 dash and this point as b1 yeah this case with the respect to horizontal plane case finished keeping this angle as constant the same inclination i am rotating this view to get the final view of in the vertical plane inclination now the same thing i uh, what i am going to do is that creating one more arc with a as center and ab as radius i am drawing an arc till here see so here this is the vertical plane angle keeping this as constant and with this radius i am turning the i am changing this position b to till it meets locus of a now i am going to project this position till it meets locus of b dash so this point will be the b2 and this point is the b2 dash yeah now the true length we can get by connecting a dash to b2 dash and a to b1 yeah so to we can find out whether it is correct or not take the aligned a dash b2 dash see 93.81 and now the same here a down to b1 yes see now this is perfect 93.81 93.81 this is the true length of the line we obtain which indicates perfect dimension 93.81 93.81 so we can round it off to 94 this is the true length of a line and we need to find out the true inclinations so take the angle with reference plane to and then true length a dash b2 dash see 40 so the horizontal plane inclination angle is 40 degrees and now with reference plane to ab1 25 degrees so the vertical plane angle is 25 degrees so now we can give the line weight display lwd enter on on yeah so this is the true length of the line one everything
to center yeah now m text true length equals to 93.81 mm True length equals to 93.81 that is approximately 94 mm. Now, the angle theta equals to 40 degrees, phi equals to 25 degrees. This is theta, select, copy. Theta equals to 40 degrees and then equals to 25 degrees. Theta equals to 40, phi equals to 25 degrees. So, this is the final projections. So, we determine true length as well as true inclinations. With this, the problem finished. Yes, that is it. Now, you can export it from the layout.